Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number 116 of the Eve's Drop Podcast. We still have to do episode 100. I know that. Don't get mad at me. That will come later on uh, sometime. Uh, this episode is brought to you by HelloFresh and also DraftKings. DraftKings, thank you. Let's get our gambling on is what I'm saying. Kristen, do you gamble? Uh, I don't gamble. I like to save everything. I save money. I don't you gamble. You save money. You don't gamble money. I don't. I don't. Uh, maybe that's where Seth gets it. That's definitely where Seth gets it. Yeah. Do you not think that him working as hard as he does and not having fun with his winnings or his earnings will affect him? At any point? Oh, I thought you were going to say, is that my fault? Oh, I know it's your fault. Oh, it is my fault. Trust me. It is my fault. I, my financial planner said someday I'm going to have to start to spend money yeah. you know, and not just save it. But I'm afraid I'm going to be an old lady without Without money, you know, so I save. So do I think he's not enjoyed life because yeah. of the way he lives? Yeah. I mean, you know, Seth loves life every day. That's true. Uh, look at his charismatic personality. He's humorous. Yeah. He's having a good time. He is. Yeah. Uh, here today with me is Chris and Abner. Uh, you guys saw on episode number 22, our <laughs> interview where we discussed a bunch of scum stuff. You we told did. us about his Brazzers uh, credit card incident how I, i'm not a father to a boy but i'm also not a, a a mother to a boy right it was was do you how would you approached a uh, if you would have had a girl like say if seth was a was a girl like would you have uh, approached it the same way like because I, I think I, and the reason that i'm asking is because i i am a very firm believer in the fact that the way that i interact and i treat olivia is not the same way that i would treat my son it's you know. hard because I don't have I don't have a daughter, yeah. so that's a really hard question to answer. Um, because you know I was a single mom when the boys were growing up. Um, I feel like I've been single most of my adult life. So I've always Seth has always said that I'm his dude. Mm -hmm. So we've been you know sitting around gaming tournaments at the end of the night, and he'll say something. And I think I remember Jay Cap looking at at him one time and saying, "I can't believe you just said that to your mother." And Seth's like, "She's my dude." Yeah. You know, like we talk about everything together. So yeah, you know, yeah including to, including the gym membership. So um, I mean, okay, I, what, I, what gym membership? Oh, I'm that thing. Talking about it. Yeah. What gym membership? Well, the, the, what we talked about in oh. episode 22 that you yeah, just yeah, talked yeah. about that I'm not My talking okay, about because I don't even, I, I don't I, even I, I know that exists. For, I, I completely forgot about that part. Okay. So if I had a daughter, you know, I'm a pretty open book. I mean, I think you have to be these days with kids because of everything that's out there. So yeah. um, I don't I don't think I would have done anything differently with a girl. I'm glad I had boys, though. Yeah. Especially Easier. in this day and age with Instagram and you know, uh, all of the photo edits and uh, what girls aspire to be isn't realistic. Yeah. And I don't really have to worry about that with boys. They're yeah. just who they are. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, that is, I mean, women forever have had it tougher than men, right? Like we can get out of bed and just look great. And w that's true. Women look at you do, and women, this women, took a, this, this, this was a women, a women do too, but they feel as though they have to go the extra step to, you know, add on the, the makeup or add yeah. on the, the, like, I don't even do, I don't even, I didn't even comb my hair. I, I, I washed my hair, I dried it <laughs> and then I put my hat on and it's, it's here. I know. And that's how you roll. It's and, unfair. And, and I'm told sometimes just throw a hat on and go, but yeah. that's really hard for me because it's always been about the hair and like being presentable and I'm getting better about that as I get older better about I'm just not really just not caring, caring quite as much yeah, now but isn't it caring though like not caring is caring right but caring for one's self like caring for oneself in in from from the perspective of I Health, care so much about exercise. me that I'm not gonna do the additional stuff for that but you do exercise every every day I I, I, I COVID has kind of done me dirty I've kind of gotten a little lazy with COVID have um, you? I think everyone has yeah I really have I've probably put on some weight I'm still trying to exercise so go to the gym and my trainer but um, you know as I get older it becomes tougher and tougher and I think uh, COVID has been a challenge for a lot of people yeah uh, including including Seth yeah you know? uh, in, in terms of what? Oh no, he's he, he's said that he's just said you know I put on weight and you know I've just 
I'm trying to get back into being more he calls, active. He is a chubby chaser. Did you know that? <laughs> yes, yes. He, I've heard that a couple times. Since but he's I've lost been a bunch. He's lost a bunch like of weight. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. lost a bunch I think of weight. He looks great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good for him. Yeah. So, um, so COVID. Yeah. I mean, uh, just that whole. I think having a little more time, being able to work rem- remotely, um, kind of allowed me to maybe sleep in a little more, not get up at four o'clock, hop on the treadmill, do, drive to work, type of thing. Um, but I'm getting back into it. Are you? I am. Slowly but surely. I am. Uh, so you're out here for the holidays. We've been trying to get this podcast on for over two years since the first one. Uh, but obviously because of COVID, travel restrictions, uh, Seth being Seth, uh, me being me, and be g- going through Busy guy. journeys. I know. Excuse me. I can't um, keep up anymore. I, a lot of, Last time we talked about a lot of things in gaming and current events, and it's just what you've done, I really have had a hard time keeping up with. I mean, I, I know where we are today. Yeah. But everything that's going on in between, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how you look as great as you do. No, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, don't blame me. Don't call me a hero. It's my parents' fault they gave me these jeans. Uh, but you you have sort of been – thank you for not – most people in your position, and I say most because it happens, uh, hit me up constantly about what's happening. You know what I mean? And you do not. And I, it's been – I think I think uh, it's been a very, very – I don't think the last time I can't remember the last time that you hit me up and asked me anything about the business. I uh, tournament yeah. stuff, uh, Seth stuff, business Seth stuff. Yeah, but what's going on or like how, when are we announcing? When are we going to you know like that sort of thing? Like we you've never done that, so I appreciate that. Yeah, well, thanks. I you, you know how I am. I don't I don't like to bother you. I know that you're very busy, and I think the last time that I just had like goosebumps was. Uh, about a year ago, probably September in 2020, when Jude called me and told me about, you know, what was maybe, I don't know if it was September, but maybe Optic was going to come back. And then I talked to you later that day and, and you know, that I kept waiting for the news to drop. Yeah. And I may have said, when's this dropping? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I, it was so exciting uh, to know that that was, that was coming back. Yeah. Um, I put on all my Optic stuff. Not all of it, a lot of it, and took yeah, a you picture. Did. You took a picture, sent <laughs> I took a That's picture. Right. and uh, I was like, "Okay, I'm waiting to post this on Instagram." So um, that was really exciting. And then uh, we had talked a little bit a few months ago about, you know, maybe some things on the horizon. And and then I guess unfortunately, it, some information got out, and it maybe wasn't the news uh, the way you wanted to share yeah. the news with Envy and yeah, yeah. yeah bringing the is it el classico or e classico e classico i i say things on twitter and then people correct <clears throat> me and i swear nobody knows what it is it's e classico e classico it's e sports i know okay so b- people say el classico el, like el, el classico is the the spanish well I, know, I, I yeah and i think, Madrid versus I think Barca. because of your maybe people say el classico and it's e cuz no it's e classico e classico 100% so yeah so it was uh the esports awards i saw um hastro i hadn't seen him in a couple years so it was nice to see him and know that we were all uh same team one, Finally. I know, under one umbrella yeah 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 uh how's how's that for you right as a as an optic mom right uh your son playing for optic for his entire career uh How's it? How was it for you for him to play under the Huntsman banner? And and seeing him go against Optic. Well, yeah, and then there's that one infamous play where you know we talk about was it Envoy that made that amazing play yeah. and uh, just kind of changed, the, w- maybe changed everything. I, I don't know. I it, think it, so. it was I, against I firm, only Optic. Firmly believe in that. Yeah, that was a really exciting day. Um, and then to find out what I found out later to know that you might be getting optic back, you know, it was it was um, it was really the way that story came together. But um, the uh, did it feel weird? Obviously, you've always cheered for your son. Yeah, right. Um, I think the weird part was knowing that, and it was just. Remembering back to when Seth left yeah. for oh, the, two weeks, yeah, for and two people weeks, have weeks. all different time frames. Was yeah. that a week? Was it two weeks? Was it whatever it was? I don't even remember. And it was, you know, to envy and to to know that um, now that we're all one, playing against LA Thieves when uh, they were LA Optic and the Huntsman, um, I was just so happy that I'm sorry it's taken me a while to think about this, but no, no, I was just glad that 
the green wall still showed up for the Huntsman. And, and that's, I think, really what mattered at the end of the day and that uh, we were all still one. And yep. it, it didn't really, the Huntsman was uh, a great segue to being optic again. Yeah. And <clears throat> the Huntsman could have gone on, but there's no better ending to that uh, as uh, than for you getting optic back. Yeah. Uh, what, what I like about, what I liked about the story and how it went down is the fact that for Huntsman, we sold, we were going to have a Huntsman uh, homestand, as you know, at the Wind Trust uh, Arena in Chicago, sold out, or we, we didn't sell out the, the, the whole arena. To sell out the, the entire arena would have been like 12,000 tickets. We sold 7,000. 7, right. And only because we can't have, I mean, it's, we, we had to allocate a portion of the stadium to the stage and all the other stuff. So the, the good thing about that is that during Huntsman, we didn't have a, a home stand because of COVID, right? So that affected everything. We get back into being Optic Chicago, and there are no home stands available, right? No one's no one's hosting home stands, so here we are. It's Optic Dallas, all the resources in the world, in a very very sports centric city as Dallas is, uh, with venues galore. If there are events next year, if there are events next year and we get one of those events, I can guarantee you that it's going to be a record-breaking event. So if you guys have never gone or if you guys miss going to MLG events, here is going to be your opportunity. If, obviously, if, if COVID gets better. There's a new variant now called the Omnicoron. Is, it, is that what it's called? Omnicore? Like now they're they're branding it the Omnicore variant, optic COVID variant. Like can we like that's advertised everywhere? Do you think that companies start thinking that way? Like if if COVID, for example, is a a strain of some sort of sickness and virus, do you think you can sponsor that and be like, yeah, we sponsor the we, we sponsor the mumps? Okay, <laughs> it's like. It just, it's just ridiculous the amount of shit that's just coming up out of nowhere. I mean, I, I believe in safety. I believe in, you know, whatever, but. I know. So if uh, I was really disappointed when the Chicago event was canceled um, because Chicago is such a, a great city. I loved living there years ago, and uh, people were so excited about it and were really disappointed that, uh, that it was canceled. And I know you had, like, photo booths. Not that that's a, a big thing, but you just were – going to make it I, it sounded like even bigger than what your typical mlg event was going to was like it, you, want me to, you, you want me to set it up for you as to how it opened up will it be oh my so goodness. yeah so will it be sim well i don't want to i don't want to spoil anything but would it be similar do you have a similar vision if you're able to do the same thing next year i don't think um, my brain doesn't work like that okay. it's my 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 imagination turns on when there's a specific project that needs to happen I can I, I I can force myself to think about what it would look like, but I can tell you what that one would have looked like. Okay. You know, it would have been I would come out on stage, give a speech, blah blah blah, talk about you know optic not being mine, and going into a new iteration of of of, uh, of what we were, of the new green wall of what that was going to be. Um, and what's funny about that is that one of the reasons that I picked the the Huntsman is because I wanted to to base the colors on something green. Right, I wanted to make it easier for people, and and forest green is my favorite green out of all the greens. So the huntsman green was like uh, a favorite of mine. But it was going to be a circus. the the exper the the experience that you would have gotten at that event would have been unlike any other esports. It would have almost been an opticon uh, of sorts. Right, I would have had my two taco trucks outside for uh, lunch and after the the thing. We were gonna have. A sort of like gathering of party, like uh, an after party, uh, outside the venue. Before the tournament started, we we had we had planned on doing an incredible, incredible um, uh, rooftop party uh, to to sort of like go into the weekend. It would have been amazing. Uh, some fans would have been invited, members of the Green Wall who have been along, like those you know those sort of fans would have been invited. Uh, but it was going to be a closed event uh, where you know like a friends and family sort of thing. Uh, but the plan for the actual show, like the the announcement on how it was going to be, um, we got Puckett to do it. But the way that my announcement would have gone is I would have called 
courage first and be like, yo, I know you're a hundred thieves now, but I need you to come out of retirement and, you know, do this thing. And then he would have been like, dude, I can't. I got Fortnite, whatever. And I would have been like, fuck, who do I call next? Then I would have called Fwiz. I'm like, yo, I don't give a shit how high of a level at Google you are right now. You need to come out of retirement to do this. You're an Optic alum. This is your alma mater. God damn it. You need to come out here and do it. He's going to be like, dude, I'm in China for the Google Expo thing. And I would have been like, God. So I FaceTime. I, I hang up that FaceTime and I'm like, there's only one guy left that I can call. This is like last resort. And it's Duff Man. So I FaceTime Duff Man. Shout out to Duff Man out there because he was going to go along with this. Uh, I don't know if he remembers this, but this is definitely a conversation we had. I think I have the receipts in case he wants to say he didn't. But anyway, so, so I call him, and as I'm talking to him, and I'm like, yo, I want need you to come out of retirement. This is going to be fucking sick. It's going to be dope. Pucket gives me a call back, and I'll be like, ah, oh, Duff Man, never mind. I'll call you back. And then, <laughs> and then Pucket would have been like the, the one that, that did it. And Pucket, we filmed all of it. And it was going to be like every single step of the show would have had its own announcement, its own Easter egg, its own little surprise, a little candy that I like to give to the fans. Entertainment. Not no leak, not no text on some fucking page that says, hey, rumor has it that uh, Puckett's going to be the one that's doing it. You know what I mean? Well, I can't wait for next year then <clears throat> because you've had even more time to think about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it's, and, it's the uh, water. It's the Texas water. It's got uh, a little dust in it. Yeah, no. So, yeah, so uh, I hope, I really hope events come back next year. Um, it's my travel life has definitely been lacking since everything got shut down. So uh, I didn't come to the event in Texas, and I wish, wish I would have this year, uh, the first event back. Yeah, yeah. Why uh, didn't you come? I don't know. I don't know that I have a good reason for not coming. Uh well, I do. I think we. I think Seth talked about that on something where um, I think he uh, asked me not to come. Yeah. Because he was uh, not going to be able to see you because of the restrictions. Right. 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 So it was like, okay, so I'm not going to be able to to really see him or anybody else. And I think we were going to be sitting maybe somewhere else. But then I think it did end up that people were, were sitting, you know, with yeah. uh, the green wall yeah. and in the you know the seats in the center and stuff. So um, in hindsight, I really wish I would have. Knowing what you know now, Seth catching COVID. You would have caught it, um, for I, sure. Well, I mean, yeah, we're not going to talk about COVID. I had COVID, and I was fine. Uh, so, you know, there are the theories. If you're vaccinated, you can't get it. But now you can. If you're unvaccinated, it doesn't, like, you're going to get it, it no um, matter so, what. Right, exactly. So, you know, I wouldn't You want to know my let, issue? You want to know my issue? I'm going to tell you my issue real quick. I wouldn't have let that stop I'm going to interrupt you, but I want to tell you my issue. If people wouldn't have made this into a political thing, everybody would have been vaxxed right now. Same, pe same people that, ha that, that got the vaccination for polio. Like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody would have. But the second that somebody said, hey, if you fucking get a vax, then you're a fucking Democrat. Or if you don't get vaccinated, you, you're a stand for freedom. You know what I mean? Like, that sort of thing. If that would have never happened, everybody would have been vaxxed. You know what I mean? So, whatever. So, I, yeah, I regret not going to that tournament. Yeah. And I did go to Champs. And... Know, I saw four matches, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, we you know got bumped out Friday. You would have loved it though. What? You would have loved being in the crowd for the first time in yeah. God knows how long, and the passion from the green wall. Oh my God! It, I, know. I, I I'm not a man of tears. I'm not. It takes a very specific thing, right? But it almost did bring me to tears. The f and it wasn't even when I went out there and I was fucking wild and I was saying, what's up to the crowd? It wasn't that. It was when Scump and Formal took the stage. Like the whole standing. Oh, no. no did when, they do that in they, Dallas they where did. they would stand? They did. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but this hit. was different. This was different. This yeah. was when the crowd hadn't seen them at all. A couple of matches have been happening. They're waiting for Optic to come on stage. And they take two steps. They come up from the side. And the second that they see Formal and then they see the redheaded kid, but crowd, how loud was that crowd, Matt? Loudest he's ever heard. Yeah, I know. I regret not being there. I it watched was only 2, it. Two thousand people, too, right? I watched <clears> it. My parents are always watching. They're in their mid seventies, and yeah. they're always watching. So I watched it and regretted not being there. I saw Iz and her mom and her brother in the in the audience cheering and having a good time. Mm -hmm. So I regret it. But hey, there's uh, next year. I'm very Hopefully. anxious for the schedule to be released and. So, yeah, I mean, so let me ask you this. If this new variant hopefully doesn't... Which one? Well, the one you were just talking Megatron, about. Megatron, Omicron? I, I, I can't keep up What's with them. What's the name of it? Omicron. I really Omicron. don't know. I really... <laughs> Omicron 
coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I hope it's just something that the media is running with and, and it really doesn't become... <sighs> I, I mean, the whole thing there, is the whole are, thing is there's, tragic. There's, I hope there's it also the Delta variant, right? Well, right. Like, just, we already I, went through that. And we like we've gone back. The lambda, like we've gotten back I, to what the lambda, the lambda not sounds like, like a frat. Sounds like a frat, exactly. Yeah, I just hope it the doesn't. The omega. I just hope it doesn't impact our lives next year, like it did, and that we can have events next year, and I can book my travel plans. And uh, when is that schedule coming out? When will we know? What's the third? fucking game mode coming out is the question oh, I, don't you know, know. I don't know about that I'm just worried about the travel plan yeah so. so as soon as I know obviously like I'll let you know uh, so you can so you can book your, your stuff uh, we usually we usually get a heads up way ahead uh, so I'll let you know that way you can book your your, your room you can book right. your flight so last year the first event was Minnesota yes no oh. I'm sorry no 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 2020 20, 2020 before 2020? COVID, right? So no, January it, it was dropped. yeah, right in March ish. Yeah, COVID dropped. I know the you same. guys were in Vegas in February yeah. and got really sick. Super sick. Yeah, but I, I spent the, the whole time with the team though, and none of them caught it. I think Seth got sick. Yeah, but he did. He oh, in Minneapolis. He in got Minneapolis, sick. right for the home the for place. the for the season for the uh, inaugural this, season opener. Right of the new oh, format. Just yeah. yeah, and Minnesota did an excellent job. Mm-hmm. Like they know how to throw a fucking party. Shout out to them. Yes, I watched it. I didn't go because I Pennsylvania is cold enough. I just couldn't. It was so bad. I couldn't do it. I did not miss that cold. Yeah. We walked. We walked uh, to to one of the best Italian restaurants I've ever had, by mind you, and it was just freezing. And I, I remember telling myself, "I'm like, this is why I moved out of the Midwest, right?" But I cannot wait to get back there. I don't care how cold it is. I don't care if it's negative fifty six degrees. I want to be with my people. I want to see the competition. I want to see the crowd go wild. I want to be free. I want to be free. So crazy story. So I have a friend from uh, when Seth's dad played baseball. So, oh my goodness, over 30 years ago. And she sent me a note that her son Mm -hmm. was a big, uh, so yeah, friend. So Sean played baseball with her husband. Yeah. Back in double A, single A. And her son, grown son, was in the audience and was a huge optic fan and Seth. And I had no idea. So I'm like, okay, next time they're there, I definitely need to come. They yeah. live in Minnesota yeah. and uh, and connect. Yeah. So there are people everywhere that, that follow you guys. It's uh, crazy. It is crazy. I, I still nuts. have a hard time getting my arms around it and understanding the impact that you guys have all had. Look, the, the fact that the reach is still as big as it is, even after three years of it being sort of dormant, it speaks loudly to what we have built not just us here as the people in front of the camera but the people behind the camera that wa- or not the people behind the well the people behind the camera too Maddie but the people that watch this on a daily basis right it is it is it is a a beautiful thing to be able to see this two dimensional being that you see on a daily basis in front of you and people like w- I, I just did meetups in Sacramento which we're, we've never done a meetup and never had a competition in and the amount of people that I met there in person were like dude like I, I cannot believe that you're real and I've experienced that before like when I've gone to the concert I'm like holy fuck that's like an actual person looks like a regular person see their imperfections and shit I know, well, so, not well, for me yeah, so, like, damn you fresh as fuck <laughs> so years ago I think it was a champs Maybe it was 2013, 2014. It was at, it w- we stayed at the same place we did at Champs this year, but it was, was it GW? LA Live? Yeah, yeah what yeah. was, like if you come out of the hotel and make a right and then there's that, yeah, yeah it was there. And I met Justine <laughs> and oh. I was kind of like, when just recently no back oh, in back 2013 in the, yeah, yeah. 14 Which whatever was, yeah. i know we didn't you guys didn't compete here in 2020 yeah, yeah, in the yeah. states so it was 2013 2014 but i had that same and i know when i walk through the crowd with you yeah uh you know people are always stopping you wanting pictures and no they they i they haven't seen me in forever they most people don't even know who i am but they know you and you've done a really good thing and i i've tried it when seth says hey i'm checking in he did that when we were checking uh at the um hotel for the award show the other night somebody yeah. came up to him and he's like hey dude can you hit me up in like five minutes you know we're, we're checking in to your suite that you so nicely let us have because you weren't feeling well and he was like you know give, give me five minutes and I was like Seth you know this person might not see you again you need to stop and or you know yeah. like you do walk with me and yeah. take a picture and yeah. uh, we got to keep moving we got to keep moving so that I think that's a great strategy if I'm busy if I have to be in front of the camera if I have to do an interview if I have, if an outlet's waiting for me and I'm walking and I, I walk with a purpose and I look like yeah I'm a little popular sure 
but go get a picture from Seth. You know what I mean? Papa's got to work. So I'm like, call, walk with me. You know, I'm always like, walk with me. Let's 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 walk and talk. So if I sit there, and I, it's, it's not that I don't want to. I obviously want to. Like, I can't wait to get back to that. Um, but if I'm, I'm going somewhere, I got to go somewhere. So when you were just in Sacramento, was that for just a meetup? Pine Park. Okay, or was it, I was going to say, or was it for Pine Park? Yeah, Pine okay. Park. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really would have loved to have been at that launch. Oh. I know uh, that was one time where you called me and said, hey, are you coming? Yeah. But we, to uh, come into L.A., but we had just been there for champs. And coming from Pennsylvania, yeah. it's just an all-day event. And then you I did saw have the- You did have that, that, because we were there for the event, but you left Pennsylvania at 3 a.m., and I remember we were all hanging out in the lobby, <laughs> And it was 3 a.m. California time, and I'm and 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 we were having drinks, Imagine we're having a good time, and, and I'm like, I'm like, you haven't slept in like 25 hours, <laughs> and you're like, I know, but I don't want to, you know, not, I don't want to. And Seth and Is are like, let's go, it's time to go. So I'm like, all right, let's call it a night. Everyone goes. Yeah, that co- cross country trip. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if I my flight was at three, but I got up at three to mm. get to the airport in time, and then I have a you know three hour setback and time change and. I think I just, we just made it to an event, a game, which was one of the few we actually saw at mm, Champs. And mm. then, yeah, you were like, hey, I, I couldn't make your dinner uh, with the team dinner. I just, uh, yeah. I couldn't. And then, but I did meet everybody out for drinks for a little bit. And it was, yeah, that's that's a long travel day for me. So you guys being in Texas is perfect because you're just in the middle and you can fly out of DFW and pretty much fly anywhere direct. And uh, I love it here. I do. Don't ask me when I'm moving here. I know <laughs> When um, are you moving here? Uh, yeah, I love it here, though. I do. I mean, it is beautiful. So a couple of days ago, it was a little chilly. It was rainy on Saturday. I think it was raining on Saturday. It wasn't. felt like I was in Pennsylvania. But, oh, my goodness, today it's just beautiful when you walk outside. It is. It is. You can drive with the windows open. It's still a little chilly, but it's comfortable chilly. It's, like, cold like the hex quarters cold. It gets super cold in here, and it gets super hot. We have We have one more year in here, and then I have the option of renewing, right? But it's, there's a lot more stuff in here than when I was here two years two and ago? a half years ago. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I mean this is definitely filled in. I still s- see the little skump. Um, You've been trying might, to steal that. For I how know. Long? I have been. If it goes missing one day, uh, I can't not. be too obvious because if if it leaves when I'm here in town, you know, it, Listen, it's there's, me. There's there's cameras <laughs> inside of here, outside of there's cameras everywhere. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it. I wish that we would have been able to execute on that, but we 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 haven't. So, what do you think? I I'm questioning the roller skates down here. I mean, I see the YouTube logo, so I'm not sure what if you've used them. Yes. Uh, they look used. I can see the wheels are not brand new. Yeah, I I, I put on short shorts for June and I skate around when she when she <laughs> asked me to. Uh, I miss, I but, miss that video. I miss that. But uh. And I know the I remember you got that at, at Champs in uh. 2019 we were at ucla's campus that for the the, the alpaca no the alpaca was the C, llama the, the llama c, the, the c what was it e3 oh. it was e3 oh, gosh i remember you had it though oh no e3 it, it did it did e3 tailed into uh a- mlg anaheim yeah. or cw uh, anaheim yeah it wasn't yeah because i remember taking those pictures in the presidential suite at the hilton Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. It took, it's a team effort. Seth hates it when I it talk about that llama because he doesn't understand how important. I know it's one of eight or something. Right? Yeah, it's like yeah. a fucking rarity. Yeah. And, and 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 Fortnite changed the video game world for the better. I mean, the game itself. I don't know. I don't play it, so I, can, I don't. I can't have an opinion on it. But Fortnite did a lot for this for this scene in mm-hmm. this industry. So mm-hmm. you have to respect it. So my it question didn't. to you: End of the year comes. I have to get out of here or I have to renew. What do I do? There's so much soul in this place. So many hard trying but also exciting and and fruitful times that I don't know if I can ever let go of it. I, I almost feel as though I did myself a disservice but by not buying the property down the street that would have been the original hex quarters and it's massive right it's it's uh like i believe um 10, square feet and i would have owned it we're here because it's near the near the uh the apartments near the restaurants I know, everybody's close proximity I, I mean do you feel like you need to move more towards that the uh like the envy headquarters no. or no 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 uh, uh 
in in essence, yeah, I mean that's the perfect that's that's the perfect office space, right? It's you got corporate on one side and you got creative and competition on the other, and everybody mingles with each other. There's people having lunch with you, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. I I I, I like that campus feel, um, but I just don't know if I could ever. I, I'm, I collect things. I no. collect humans. Well, I have the same um, the same friends that I've always had because I collect I know. people. So let me ask you this, and Jude will thank me. Does Jude have to arrange the move if you leave? No. Or, okay. No, no, no. Because <laughs> she's really she good will, at that. She will decorate the next one, right? She did she's, a good job. I know. On this one, so. She's really good. She's, oh, she's great at that. Um, so I don't know. That's that's a good one. Um, I think you just stay, and uh, unless you're you've outgrown this space and you need to find you know a bigger a bigger Matt, spot. We, we have we do we have outgrown it a little bit. I think, maybe a little. Who put the Christmas tree up? Oh, uh, Mario did. Nice. That's our first Christmas tree ever. Yeah, I, ever. I I like it. That's the first Christmas tree we've ever had here at the Hexor. It's still here. Same one. Yeah, what do you mean? What, what did you think I was saying? Oh, no, no, oh, no. That's no. Yeah, yeah, no we always had it. Yeah, you put it together the first time. Yeah. Yes. Put, it, put himself in the time lapse. I'm like, you're supposed to cut yourself out of the time lapse, Matt. People <laughs> are supposed to think that I did it. Yeah. Uh, so Maddie does it all. So let me so let me ask you this. If you would do like, um, what are they, pre-lands? Or mm -hmm. if you would have the teams come in. I mean, you haven't done that in a while because of COVID. Do you have room to have yeah, teams we, come we in? Yeah, we 42 people here comfortably at one point. Well, I know at one point, but there's there's a lot there's a lot more in here. Than yeah. there was. Mm, no, not really. Okay. No, it's the same amount of tables. I know you got the you've got the desk. There's more people here for sure. Right. But there's not more things. Yeah. I mean, small things, knickknacks. But there's no new furniture. There's no new tables. I guess the same amount of everything that I've always had. So it's it's. Yeah. yeah. So the more people, I really, I really need to spend some time catching up with. I'm. I know that Object Halo uh, has been on fire. Booming. Yeah, which is awesome. I I don't. I don't really know that world. When and we were in every sport, and, and those, do you remember? Those guys. When we were in I, every sport, do you remember following them? I do. Yeah. A couple of them, yeah. A couple of them. And I need to, well, Nick was one of them. Maniac. Right? Yeah. And Flame. Flame Sword, yeah. One of them. Um, but yeah, I do remember it. And I, I need to, let me just say, the eSports Award put everything in perspective because yeah. You saw nobody that you knew. I know. I saw. So let's talk about who I saw. Um, I saw Sepso. Saw yeah. Mike Sepso. Yeah. I saw Hastro. Yeah. I saw Duncan. Duncan Ironmonger. Yeah. Uh, and freshly Mel, and Mel freshly from, married. Yeah, I know. We talked about that. Yeah. And uh, amazing wedding. And then I saw Mel. Mel, shout from, out to Mel from, from Scuff. Scuff. Yeah. Uh, gosh, I don't want to. I mean, I saw all our people, of course. Yeah. Adam Apicella. I saw Adam briefly in the hotel. Oh. Um, and we were, he was with his wife and we were, I think we were getting out of Seth's car, I, just briefly in the lobby actually. I yeah. saw Adam and I, I didn't see him the rest of the night, so. I, I will say this, I was so disappointed that I wasn't gonna make it to the awards. Yes. Uh, so much so that I didn't do a, a pre, a, an acceptance speech, record, a pre-recorded acceptance speech because I, I felt in the bottom of my heart that I was gonna be there to accept my awards if I won any. Right. Sorry, you, you and Jude weren't there too. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but we got great seats because you weren't. So you know yeah. that's a whole, that's 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 really why I'm here because I, I yeah you know, we were talking. I don't think I've seen Seth for Thanksgiving for about eight years mm -hmm. because the game comes out right around Thanksgiving and and he doesn't want to travel and break streaming his protocol and you know his work ethic and and getting off stream and taking some time off when the the new game has come out. So I. I had a moment a week before the eSports Awards on Friday night and just thought, I need to be there. So that gave me a week to... Prepare and get Yeah, yourself. and I, I thought uh, I had tickets and I thought I had an extra ticket for Paige and then that kind of disintegrated uh, and then thought we had a ticket with uh, Bill mm -hmm. at his table and we did, but then when you fell ill, unfortunately, you uh, we had your seats at the optic table, which yeah. was really nice to sit uh, to sit with everybody. Yeah. Um, but we were sorry that you weren't there. Yeah, the I, I would have never missed it if if I wasn't sick. But I'm glad that I did because on Sunday I felt just as sick, and I'm like, if I show up and people are taking pictures, I mean, I, like you know what I mean? Like I don't want to be coughing. My voice is different. People are going to think that I'm out there spreading germs. Right. So I was like, I'm just not going to go. I'm just, I'm just going to chill. And I'm glad that I did because all through that Saturday, like four o'clock hit and I'm like, I know that I'm supposed to be getting my hair cut right now. Mm -hmm. And then I have to get them to my tux. I have to decide what shoes I'm going to wear. Okay. So back that up. You have to get into your tux 
would your tux have fit from 2019? Yeah, of course. Because I, and I only, not because. I'm fat? I mean, you, no. Am I bigger now? What's up? What are no, you saying? No, no, because. Come on and say no, because Iz and I were talking about what we're wearing and what yeah. Seth's wearing. It's like, oh. So I, we talked about COVID and yeah. putting on a little weight. And, uh, you know, it, it was, I, you know, Seth, she pulled out his tux and he looked really nice in yeah, it. Yeah, he did. So I just. I, I did text him, like, unbutton the bottom button. Oh, I, he, I did see a couple of tweets about the way you were supposed to wear your jacket. Listen, you know? I, I wish I would have been there to, 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 to do this. I don't think thing. it was the jacket. I think it was the pants, you know, that were no, a little it was, snug, no, it was the but jacket. you couldn't see. No, the jacket was the jacket. No, it was not. It, it, the, the, the fit looked good. Mm -hmm. It's just that he had uh, the, the second button that you're not supposed to, on, on, your, on, your, on yeah. your jacket that he, you're not supposed he, to. He doesn't get out much. You yeah, know? no, I, I know. Mean, I know. I, I, not putting Nate on at, at Video Game Awards did the same thing. He comes up with, uh, comes up, say hello. And I'm, I'm like, yo. I, I reached oh. out and I'm buttoning well, him. I saw Nate shot. That's oh, another Nate person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Nate. Sorry, Matt. And yeah. I met uh, his girlfriend, Haley. Best. Beautiful. So amazing. Yeah. Um, Huge shout out. Yeah, but I, I remember the pictures that you guys took a couple of years ago, you and Sundance mm -hmm. and, and Seth and Dr. Disrespect. And, you yeah. know, you guys had some epic shots. And, like, that was just kind of missing this I year. I know. I'm so mad. Yeah. But, I'm um, so mad because, well, one, to the weight question that you just asked me, uh, God has blessed me with the ability to never get overly fat. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a big dude. You know what I mean? I, I, I got my beer belly, so I'll button paid for. Mind your business. But I, all my shit always looks fresh. I'm gonna regret asking Here. you that. I didn't ask you that question because of the way you pounds. look. <laughs> What? What I just asked that question because I know what we the conversations we had with Seth and his tux and is in my dress and yeah. you know what on earth are we going to do and we have a week to get ready for this. Yeah, that's the only reason you look great. I mean, I can't really see because you've got you know sweatshirts layers. and you do have layers, but I'm sure there are other people that had probably attended in 2019 that had the same struggle with. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you know, COVID and it's just been a couple different years yeah. and uh am i going to be able to wear what i wore two years ago yeah well That's i would have got well, first i would have gotten a new tux right mm. it, it would have been made for the night right right well we're talking about seth and yeah, you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. watching his watching oh, his dollars it's, it's he, my fault he, 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 he did buy a hundred dollars worth of socks right yeah he actually made a point to show me a pair of those socks yeah he's like <laughs> i'm about a hundred dollars <laughs> per sock. Yeah. i i have so many socks it's just like one thing I just I sleep with my socks on. Uh, the only time I don't have my socks on is when I'm taking a shower or I'm in, at the beach or in my pool. Aside from that, they're always on. They're never off. I would have never worn sandals, flip flops, thong sandals, like none of that. They're they're always on. Anyway, so what I don't miss or, or what I did miss, how do I explain this? I'm glad. I'm not glad that I didn't go, but I'm also glad that I didn't go because I would have been disappointed in the fact that the party, the after party, was in the same venue that everybody you know experienced that thing in. Right. Where usually it's across the street at Texas Live where it's always popping. Yeah. And la the the first esports award that we had here, they rented out a a back room for everybody at esports awards. It was coincidentally uh serendipitously a right next to a pizza spot, like a oh, single perfect. pizza pizza spot. Yeah. Did they stay open late? Yeah, they yeah. stay open until the bar opens. But it was beautiful because everybody got out of their suits, got into their comfy clothes, and then went to the bar. There's beer pong. There's every and and, and it wasn't just a, a video game award stuff because uh, some of the Guggen's guys, Guggen guys came. Uh, other people from other industries were there too for the party that were not necessarily there for esports awards. Mm -hmm. They were there for esports, but not for the esports awards. Yeah, I don't think that happened this year. No, no, no everybody was was in the back. Yeah. Everybody so dancing and there's it was prom and shit. Yeah, I think uh leaving the hotel where you graciously I think gave us all a couple of rooms. Yeah, hold um, on. Let me before you continue on that, let me say a quick hello to the sponsors because okay. we're running a little bit late on that really quickly. 5432 go. Football fans, football fans football fans i'm sure that we all love an action-packed high scoring nfl game but with the latest no-brainer from DraftKings sportsbook an official sports betting partner of the nfl mind you that's very important uh that they are an, an official partner betting partner of the nfl you'll be a winner once a single point is scored new customers who bet just one dollar on any team to score can win 100 dollars in free bets it's that simple if Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, you can still get on the NFL action. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state, you can still get in on the NFL action. Everyone can play for huge cash prices all season long with DraftKings. Daily Fantasy Sports 
contests. DraftKings DraftKings has given away all new customers free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Right, right now, if you download the, the DraftKings Sportsbook application right now, use promo code eavesdrop, that's E-A-V-E-S-D-R-O-P, and you bet just $1 on any team to score and win $100 in free bets if they score. Okay, And if they score, you score with promo code eavesdrop this week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, or PA only. New customers only, minimum deposit $5, and $1 require Per wager, one per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for all the details regarding that. And this is important. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER, G-A-M-B-L-E-R. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook application right now. Use promo code eavesdrop and bet just $1 on any team to score and win $100 in free bets. That is good. So you're telling me that I can use eavesdrop, score. Bet one dollar for any team to score one point, and then I got a hundred dollars of free bets, which means that I can bet a hundred. It, it's pretty. That's 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 a that's a sick deal. So head over, head on over, uh, and the link will be in the description as usual and as per usual. We have HelloFresh. HelloFresh. Gosh darn it, do I love me some HelloFresh? What is HelloFresh? Well. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-proportioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right through your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Uh, the HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every single week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. HelloFresh isn't just for meals. Their marketplace features a variety of add-ons for breakfast, desserts, and seasonal snacks like Pillsbury, pumpkin cookie dough. God, I'm hungry now. Uh, And, you know, lastly... HelloFresh is a can't beat value. Even at full price, it's over 30% cheaper than grocery stores. And with this holiday deal, it's time to try for even less. Uh, Maddie and I share it uh, every single time they send us to us. So when we order it, we uh, obviously do our own stuff at our home. Uh, Jude is mostly the one that makes all the orders for me because I'm a baby. Um, go to HelloFresh.com slash H3CC14. That is HelloFresh.com slash Hex14. And use code Hex14, H3CZ14, for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Okay? That is HelloFresh.com slash hex 14 h3cc14 the link's gonna be in the description down below but please do remember to use the code h3cc14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts Woo! gosh darn it go over there right now shout out to hellofresh for supporting the podcast as much as they do shout out to you guys who have used my code and the link that i provided for you to buy some hellofresh it is because of you that i'm con- that i'm able to continue to do what i'm doing right here so we'll see you guys next time thank you so much let's get back to the podcast with Kristen. As you were saying, you were leaving. Yeah, so we were leaving to go to the awards, and there was something right next door, and maybe that's the live yeah, yeah. that you're talking yeah. about. And so everybody, well, we, the people that I was with, uh, thought that that's where the after party was. And then to find out during the awards ceremony that it was actually there. So um, I actually, my, sh- mm, my shoe broke uh, very Cinderella. early in the night. <laughs> there was there was nobody that came along and gave me another shoe. Paige tried. Mm. Uh, scotch tape, photographer tape. Um, I think we had some glue it, towards it the end of the night. I couldn't Paige walk. Try to fix she that. is amazing. Shout out to Paige. I mean, I, I knew if I went to Paige and said, is there somebody here in maintenance at the event that can get me some type of duct tape yeah. or something to tape this shoe? So I've never had a shoe break. And uh, how old am I? 39? Uh, my 39 years, uh, you know, 20 years of wearing heels. Um, I've never had a shoe break. And of course I had to, and I could not walk in this shoe. It wasn't just like, mm-hmm. I, it just had to come off. So, um, you didn't bring a second pair. Who does that? No, I, I do. No, I got, yeah, of course. Oh, well you're bougie. I am bougie. <laughs> I just had I'm to, bad I had to get bougie. that word in somewhere. Um, so I was dealing with that. And, uh, by the end of the night, uh, I just, I, I went, I went back to Seth's house yeah. and uh, took care of Buzz and Seth partied at the after party oh, uh, did he? at the event. Uh, Boy, yeah. Matt, Seth was going rogue? Yeah? Yeah, yeah he like, was on uh, the dance like floor. Like Go- Guggen Squad party hard or just as bad? Yeah, that's just as bad. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so I heard him say that he has never been as hungover as he was the next day. 
And then I heard him say the same thing the day after Thanksgiving. So I happy. think it's a thing. Yeah, I I'm going to tell you, you know what it is? <laughs> what? You know what it is? How old is he now? 26. 26. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. He's having a harder time recovering. Yeah. Look, it happens. I quit drinking heavily about a year ago. Uh, about a year ago. Well, actually, no. I've gotten fucked up a couple times. But I don't I do not do it the way that I used to. I, liter- I, I would rather not. I'd rather smoke a joint, have a better time. And I think the last time that I was like mega effed up was at um, I don't even remember. Oh, I uh, maybe um, so last year at the Guggen party. I mean, I, I was yeah. there for that oh, in December. Yeah. That, that was a good one. <laughs> that was yeah. that was. Fun. I was fucking gone. Jude had left earlier in the night. She just she was just there for the dinner. She went back because Liv was at home, and I just kept drinking. Yeah, Isabel and I raided the dessert table. We had like four to-go boxes yeah. of, of sweets from, yeah. the, <laughs> from yeah. the table. They, that was they really went nice all out. Yeah, that was Fucking really nice. Oyster bar, crab, like, yeah, they went hard. Mm-hmm. Everything. Uh, but I think that was the last time that I got super, super messed up. But ever since I started to, uh, when I launched the Pine Park business, um, that's I, I just quit drinking altogether. Like I can have a better time. I can have full functioning everything. Uh, and I don't wake up with a hangover. So, see, that's what happened to me a couple Fridays ago. I had a couple Cosmos Friday night after work. That's usually, you know, by Friday I'm just spent. And I got really happy and thought I need to go to the esports awards. Yeah. And I knew of these two tickets floating around out there, and so that's kind of why I'm I'm here. I was supposed to leave uh, four three four days ago, and yeah. I extended my stay. So I was yeah. having so much fun. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. That's that's, that's always good, um, especially because Seth. I know Seth like has a very strict schedule. He does. But the second that he's done streaming, like he likes to have a good time. Yeah. Whether it's watching a movie, it's hanging out with is watching The Bachelor or whatever. Like he's cool with just chilling at home, which is like so my thing too. Yeah, it's funny. We went to watch some Christmas movie, and we didn't think it would be in the library of your account. Uh, our account. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. I can't and remember Seth what and movie I did not it was. Share an iTunes, oh, iTunes, it was like okay. Robo- oh no, no, no. It, well, okay. It's your. It, yeah. I don't know. I don't know the lo- logistics behind it, but it was like I don't know. If it was like the Turbo Man Christmas video. It was something that it. I don't know. You, w- he wouldn't have thought that you had watched before. I did Some Christmas movie. Well, maybe it was it. him. Probably last year. Then. <laughs> uh, I wake up sometimes and I see uh, roman uh, rom coms being bought like uh, uh the 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 one that i watched was something shiva uh shiva diva or something like that i'm like what the fuck that's like i he uh, all of the um i don't even want to open up my library but he buys like the weirdest shit all the transformers all the game of thrones i'm uh, not uh, not game of thrones uh lord of the rings just buys the weirdest shit mm-hmm. you can tell which movies are my movies and which ones are his yeah i usually go to youtube when i need a new show to yeah. watch i'm trying to get succession Seth- i i did watch that on your recommendation uh i really like that um i'm trying to get him to watch peaky blinders oh, i watched it up to season three Why did you stop? i don't know i think I just, that might be my favorite i mean i just ever? i really like that i think you just like the boys that play the, <laughs> the parts mate yeah well no, that's not it. No, I just thought it was a really good story. I thought it, I really liked it. It wasn't like a million characters that confused you. I liked Boardwalk Empire too. Yeah. Um, which was set back in the 1910, 1920. Oh, no. really? Did you watch that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And Al Capone. Yeah. Lucky. Or right. Nucky. Nucky Thompson. Yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, it's Steve Buscemi. Steve right? Buscemi, yeah. He was awesome. And I always said that was my favorite until uh, I watched Peaky Blinders. I did like Better Call Saul too. I, I mean, have never I, watched that. Oh, you know what? I didn't love that character in Breaking Bad. Yeah. But individually, he was good. Ah. Uh, As a main character, really? Yeah. It you was recommend the, the, it? The story, absolutely. The storyline, yeah, it was it was great. Yeah. I know Seth likes to watch um, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Cur- yeah. Curb Larry Enthusiasm. David. He calls himself LD. <laughs> he Larry says David? he's just like Larry David. He's not. You know who's exactly like Larry David? Who? Fucking Hutch Hutchinson. Okay, I've never Sean met Hutch. Okay. Hutchinson. He is literally everything bothers him. Everything, but he cannot believe the way that humans are or interact. But he also gets super happy about. He's like, uh, when they made the announcement a couple of weeks ago, they said, it's like, yeah, you got to get a booster." He's like, "Hell yeah, I'm gonna get a booster!" Like, I'm like, "You're only saying that because you're screaming at the top of your lungs that you are a lefty." You know what I mean? That's that's the only reason. Nobody gets hyped. Like, I don't get hyped. Like, as a, uh, if I have the measles. 
Or if I have a tetanus shot, I've stepped on a rusty nail. I have to go get a tetanus shot. I don't go like, yay, tetanus shot. Like, he did that because he's politically inclined. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could do a whole... Segment on that? Yeah, which we're not. You know, yeah. I, I, I have, have you ever thought about doing your own thing? You, We talk about it every yeah, single time. Like, no, you need a podcast. No, I, I couldn't. I don't... I don't like the criticism. Like people will criticize this podcast, you know, and people will give it the thumbs down. And so and what? They still I don't gave know. us a view. We still yeah. got paid for it. Well, and we're not thinking about those fifteen little dweebs out there. We're talking about people who are here to enjoy the podcast. Yeah. No, I know that. Yeah, and I was kind of worried about what we would talk about because I don't, you know, I've just been kind of working. I don't have a whole lot going on right yeah. now. But it's just always great to sit down and have any conversation with you one on one without, you know, your phone ringing. Uh, just I'm never really in town or you being pulled in a hundred different directions at an event. So yeah. um, got to talk to Jude a little bit the other night. Um, ran into her. She and yeah. Liv were walking the dogs. You see me and, and Dex. Yeah. Dexter. Oh, our neighbor, neighbor from across the street. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just it's just nice to be able to, to, to see you guys. And it's such a rarity with me being so far away. Yeah. So. That's why you got to move. <laughs> uh, Jude's like, yeah, I'm going to go walk the dog. And I'm like, cool. And then five hours pass. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, where the fuck you at? I got worried because yeah. I'm playing video games. So I can't yeah. you know, be great at a video game and also keep track of my family. I think Seth even said, where were you guys? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were in the car and backing out. And uh, I was like, oh, I better let these two people coming at us, you know, go behind us before I back the car out of the driveway. And, and it was it Liv and Jude and yeah. the dogs. That's yeah. awesome. I know. It's great Good. to see them. Uh, I was going to ask you something about, oh, yeah. So has has any, any uh, eSports mom ever hit you up to be like, hey, you're probably like the most popular one out of all of us. Do you want to do a podcast? I'm telling you, you could do a podcast. You could have a podcast and just like be on their podcast no, or no, host they, the no podcast. Has, yeah, you host your own yeah. podcast. The the esports moms or something like that. Um, I love the esports moms. Uh, there's actually a mom, uh, a parent DM private thing behind the scenes on Twitter. So excuse me, is yeah. it really? Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah, where we can you know. Uh, talk shit about we each other's do kids <laughs> no, of course like, ha, not. Ha, your fucking son lost no of course not again oh yeah do you still love them? i mean it's not it's not just cod it's it's a lot of esports and I, I can't honestly say i have a lot of time to devote to it i feel bad because i i know I, people do they'll hit me up on on twitter or um somebody came up to me at the esports awards and i'd, I'd had a couple like vodka cranberries nothing serious but um they i think <laughs> <laughs> nothing crazy but i wasn't driving and uh, i it's just you know the tables are set it's all right there for the taking so somebody brought a mom up to me and they wanted to meet me and honestly as i sit here i can't remember why i think it's my age but one drink and then the rest of the night i have I don't act ridiculous. I just don't have a great memory of, yeah. of everything shouldn't. that happened. Yeah, so yeah, I think it, I think it's my age and that tolerance. So I don't know about that. I, I think it's just you're having fun with your son who you haven't seen in a long time. So everything are you else assuming is he was still there? I mean, you know, he was the butterfly that he is. Yeah. He was gone. Yeah. You know, he was out and about. Um, but the uh, w the esports moms and dads we have tried to keep in uh, keep in touch oh, cool. through COVID, and uh, we're all looking forward to seeing each other, you know, at events. And I know some of those moms, you know, their sons are now retired, so mm. you know, I don't know that they'll go to events if they're live again, like you know, yeah. uh, Zuma's mom, you know, yeah. Tommy's mom. Um, yeah, but I think I think in in, in that particular case it, for Zuma specifically, it's different because he has had such a great post retirement. Mm -hmm. beginning of a career already that he's he's sort of cemented himself as a pillar of what is call of duty esports. Yeah. so maybe maybe she'll come maybe yeah. she'll come to the events yeah, yeah, um, yeah. i'm still i'm still saying i'm still hoping that i get invited to a dinner because who's dinner their dinner their dinners oh right Zuma's yes dinners? i know oh i know mama zuma grandma zuma? i know grandma zuma <laughs> i know the food looks One amazing day. i know i saw their thanksgiving picture and yeah so no great families i you know i i I'm so appreciative of the, I don't know, hundreds, thousands, I'm not really sure, of people and the close friendships that we've had that I never imagined would have existed mm -hmm. um, through Seth being in gaming. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, you guys uh, are, of course, at the top of the list. And I take back, it takes me back to that day where, you know, I didn't really know anything about Optic and Seth was on leverage and we, you were on the plane and I, pretty sure it was Anaheim and we had won leverage had won that mm -hmm. event in 2011 and you were on the plane and you said hi to Seth and that 
I mean, he was glowing the rest of the, the plane ride because you knew who he was and you said hello and he made sure he knew, I knew who you were. So, uh, and then just the countless families and, and people that I, you know, consistently hear from, even people I've met at events. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, there's one person, David, he's actually working and has been working with Envy. Um, I mean, people have... David. Yeah. I know his Twitter title, but um, but people have gotten jobs in the scene that have started out as fans. Yeah. So I, I just, I love that. I'm sorry. I'm hearing Nick and... Uh, You're getting distracted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he was, yeah. he's going off on that. Yeah. No, it's it's great. He's he's live streaming. So yeah. Um, I mean, who would have thought it? We talked about this in the last podcast, being on the phone with you and Hastro and your vision and what that w looked like. And I was oh, like, these two guys days. crazy? Yeah. 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 That, Full circle moment there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what's crazy about that is that I immediately, the second I saw Seth, I knew that he was going to be a star. Immediately. And I, listen, I haven't fucking, look, if by now you don't believe me because I talk about myself a lot that it gets annoying sometimes, I know what the fuck I'm doing. I knew it immediately. I predicted it. Didn't I call out Jake Lucky before Jake Lucky was anything? Way before. He was getting, what, 2,000 views? Like, no views. And I told Matt, I'm like, I could, he's going to blow up. Immediately. Has he kind of taken a break? I don't know. I, I, took a little bit of I don't break. know. Um, but... Yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, you, my yeah. eye for talent is just unmatched. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself with what I do professionally. And my, somebody, one of my bosses said, you know, you'll never let yourself fail. You'll just, you, you'll work yourself, you know. Uh, to the bone. To the bone uh, to not fail. And you just trump that over and over again. I mean, no matter what business you touch, no matter what vision you have, it just, you make it happen. It's the people around me. It's the people around me. I surround that's, myself that's with people nice who have the same vision and the same demeanor and the same wants, and it just makes it easier. I'm only here to help, you know what I mean? As much as I, I do love me a little bit of me, I, I like the fact that I get to help every single day. And, and nothing in my career has ever spoken to yeah, me otherwise. I mean, so yeah, I mean, let's let's talk about all the people that w wouldn't be where they are with, mm, without you. Uh, I'm good. Let's not. I'll so talk. Well, the I thing just is, said it. Like, this just, podcast is already like an hour long. Okay. All right, and, we can cut it. And to and to name every person. Well, I'm not going to name helped. every uh, person, but I wouldn't long. I wouldn't be here. Uh, <laughs> Maddie wouldn't be here. Maddie uh, wouldn't have gotten that great picture of me and Seth after Champs, you yeah, know, that we talked about. Fucking, I love that he picture. He takes good pictures, except when he's taking my fucking picture. <laughs> There's a lot of good pictures of you out there, so. <laughs> yeah, they're all taken uh, by me. Uh, no, they're not. There are a lot of great <laughs> uh, a lot of great pictures of you. But, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, our time again. If We're wrapping this up. No, we're not. I mean, oh. we can if you want to. I mean, no. you're, you're here for another 24 hours. I think you're good. Yeah, right? no, plus, yeah, um, my flight leaves tomorrow night. I wanted to uh, so on the on the on the mom esports moms topics like uh, there there are so many of them that sort of I, I I think that they would look at you to see how you handle you know your relationship with your son with your son being who he is right like uh, a, a lot of the a lot of the moms that are here right currently the 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 same moms have the same you know sort of talent so they look to you to see how you've been able to handle like this whole thing because obviously everybody can tell that Seth is a a, a good a good man with a good head on his shoulders and that doesn't come from him naturally that how that comes from good parenting right there there are very few moments in time in which you can say that uh, the way a person is isn't because of the way that he was raised it's always because of the way that he was raised yeah well you always say that about me so thank you i mean i it's I, true i appreciate that i i Seth did a spot for something and uh i was in a process the process one of the processes i yeah and you you gave me credit for him being the way he is. Yeah, I thought you were uh, about to start crying. No, I was I just was trying to think. No, 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 no tears. No, 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 no tears, no tears. So thank you. Um, you know, I know you call me the his momager, which is kind of funny. I had to explain that to Jason uh, at Envy. He's the, I don't, he, he's HR. And yeah. I was talking to him Jake? about- Jake? Did I say Jason? J Jake, Jake, Mexican dude? Uh, we did FaceTime. Um, now, yeah, yeah. now, now I feel bad, but no, I thought it was Jason. That. I th okay, I thought it was Jason. Okay, Jake. but anyway, so is it Jake or Jason? I could look at my phone, but it's over there. So anyway, he was Jacob. Oh my gosh, this is getting way too okay, who deep. Cares? So I had to, to explain to him. Yeah. yeah, I, I, you know, why is Seth's mom calling me about his benefits yeah, and yeah, yeah. like payroll and the new portal that he had to sign up for and everything? Because yeah. I don't know. That's what I do, and I've always wanted Seth to concentrate on 
his yeah. craft. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe there are other kids that have done that on their own. Yeah. Um, and maybe they've stumbled, but maybe they, they've learned something yeah. um, through that process. Um, you know, if Seth had to go in and pick a PPO 1000, 2000, 3000 qualified plan, you know. See, he's just like, you're talking, you know. You're talking Jude's language right uh, now. Yeah, She's okay. my, my Mom, wife wife -ager. Ager, wife -ager. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, just, it would be like, uh, pick a pick a checkbox and, and yeah. keep moving to dental and vision, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. You, so whether it was that or whether it was finances or it was just, you know, at some, he has taken an interest in his finances and planning and being more involved in that instead of coming to me when the market takes a dip and he looks at his balances and doesn't understand, you know, why, why he's down X amount of dollars. So he has definitely taken it mm. uh, more of an interest in that over the last couple of years, which, which is very helpful yep. because he understands it and I don't get beat up as much, but, um, I mean, either of my kids, whatever it was that they needed, I was always there to yeah. uh, to try to help them with, with that and, and anything else. Obviously, I can't play COD. Uh, I can't uh, I can't be there when, You've never you know, tried. I see those devastating looks, you know, especially it just, over the years, there have been a lot of looks, but I just, the, the looks from the losses this past season, just, they, you know, even my parents said, oh, gosh, we feel so bad for the oh team. It just- uh, We had some bad losses. Yeah, there was some. So, you know, um, the whole momager tag uh, at the end of the day, if I can help him and he appreciates that and he's better off for it, then yep, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I think that we had a tough competitive year, even after we got Optic back, because Optic was punishing us for separating from it for so long. It like said- the Optic gods? Yeah, well, uh, the Optic logo. Yeah, uh, it's, so a, it's an entity. Okay. You know, they, so he said, you know, <laughs> that, that, that symbol up there says, like, fuck that. No, 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 we're not winning shit. Y'all left me. We're not winning shit. But now, yeah, but it we, wasn't. We paid. We paid. We paid our dues. No, but you never really left. It just it kind of unfolded mm. differently than you expected. It felt differently right? to me. But yeah. Fuck up. I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you talking to the optic gods or to no? Nick? I was talking to, to Nick. So I was talking to Nick. Oh, yeah, he's working over there. So <laughs> it's just uh, so much history, right? Like there's, there's, this is a special thing, and there's, it's un, it's undeniable to me that that thing is special because. It's done a lot of good for a lot of people, so I have to respect it. It has. And when I separated myself from it, we we suffered, and then we suffered more. It was, it was weird because it got mad because we won as Huntsman. And he's like, all right, y'all motherfuckers want to win without me? I don't you guys think, are going to win yeah. championships without me? And he wasn't, and it wasn't winning no championships? So immediately he said, all right, as soon as we get back together, I'm not going to win shit for you guys. And here I, we are. I, no, I see that it, in the comments and the tweets that you take a lot of heat from random people for selling optic and yeah. i don't think that that was your intention i don't think the whole infinite thing r ran out like you expected it to right. i mean i think that there were a lot of things that happened in that year or so that were unexpected and not in your control yeah. and then the next sale and then you did everything you could to get it back so um i feel bad that people uh take that stance with you and uh, have that opinion when I, I don't think that that was the intention at all. Well, thank you, but it was when people like that talk to me, Chris. Oh, okay. Do you think that they would say that to me? No. Right. No. Like this, this is cowards hiding behind a screen, dweebs. I know, but that's that's ugly, when ugly people inside and out. Some people don't. The people that criticize me, like I just saw when when we announced the rally thing, my coin, mm -hmm. which they are stupid and they thought that it was it had something to do with like something else. There was some sort of something completely different, and they sort of put it in the same in the same thought in their dumb brain. They, they were talking shit. I, I would look at everybody that criticized me, and none of them followed me. So I was like, the fuck, uh, "Why?" One yeah. or people one, have like two followers, you know, and they're an egg. They yeah, don't have their picture. Which is fine. You mean you listen? You matter, okay? We're not saying that you don't matter, okay? I'm just saying that you don't matter to fucking me <laughs> at, at all. So uh, in in those instances, I just choose to just like not. Not, there's like engaging in is just not not my thing you know like I, I fight for the things that I believe in I wish I could be more like that I think I don't know I don't know I don't I don't know if, if you should or shouldn't I that's think being a whole, kind person is it, you know yeah. trumps whatever the fuck this is uh, that's where the whole I could never do a podcast I you know I I just I don't have the amount of time to focus on something like that yeah and I don't have all this equipment I don't have Maddie I don't have lights you know you don't need all that
I thought about doing a cooking thing years ago, but oh, I, you know. I love cooking, and I cannot wait to start my Bring Back of, El Chefe. Yeah, we, there, you should. There are a lot of good the YouTubers thing, out the there thing, that cook, and I just couldn't even compare. I always wanted to try to be more than I think I can be, and then that just prevents me from doing it at all. Your like, ego is your amigo, amiga, <laughs> okay? Your ego is your amigo. It allows you, so if you can control your ego, it can push you to heights unimaginable before. Right? Some people shit talk ego and that you should be more humble. Fuck that. Like the, the, if, if I would have listened to my weak self and said, you know what, man, you're 29 years old. How the fuck could you ever relate to these 14, 15 year olds that play Call of Duty on a daily basis? I wouldn't have done what I did. You know, if I would have, if I would have gave up on myself because I wasn't good enough to be in the top, you know, percent of Call, Call of Duty players, like I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Well, maybe. My ego disallowed me from listening to my weak self. Yeah, maybe that, maybe I'm missing out on being a great golfer then because I'm not really giving that a try. Yeah. Uh, Cause I just. Do you like golf? No, oh. I've tried. And somebody told me once that, uh, I said that my ex-husband teach me to golf and they said, well, maybe your ex-husband didn't want you to golf with him <laughs> because I'm not very good. No, so. maybe it's, yes, yeah, some free time, <laughs> you know, some yeah. time away from to, to be boys. Yeah, so I just, yeah, I, I yeah. I get Good it. for you, and we're grateful that you did stray. So, can we talk about this this sweatshirt for yes, a couple please. minutes? So, do you see a dog or a cat hair on it? No, I do not. I know because I haven't worn it. I've been here since the esports awards, so Saturday. And you specifically saved it to wear it to no, the. I just uh, I've worn it very sparingly. I think I wore it underneath or uh, yeah underneath the jacket one time, but there's not one Buzz, not one Leo, not one Snoofer yeah. hair on it. So uh, I have kind of Is that the one that has mom, mom of Scope no, in the back? No, that, no, you had that specially made for me. This is actually a newer one that I got. Where'd you get it? I don't know, online, I don't know. Where the fuck you buying pirated shit, Kristen? No, from you guys. No, that, we've never yes, made that. Yes, you did, yes you did, no. I got it. Oh with, yeah, I did, yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, it was like a couple months ago. I got like, a, there was like a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like a polo shirt yeah, that said, yeah, and yeah, there was yeah. even a portfolio. Did you buy the portfolio? I didn't, because I don't have, I don't need one, I have one. If the, yeah, if like, the I don't need a book, I have a laptop. No, if the Optic logo would have been in like OG colors, I probably would have, but I, But I, since you it know. was sublimated. Yeah, I have, I have one fancy. of those for work. I don't use it that often. I did get the book, I got the Frank book. Um, I, I haven't, I don't, I don't understand what that is all about, but I got a what couple copies of that. Well, I don't understand the whole Frank. So Frank is a, is I'm a, just not a Frank, hip Frank is a, a magazine. Okay. Right. Or of sorts, it's a book obviously, but it's got a magazine mentality. I've been reading Frank since I was in like 17, I think, yeah. you know, I've been, I've been, cause it, it, it covers a lot of punk rock, hip hop. See, it's a culture thing and it's I'm a just not thing. there. I'm just yeah. not there in my old age. Yeah. What's your favorite song of all time? Just so I can get some <laughs> some ideas too. It's such a personal question, Matt. What's your favorite song of all time? So Matt has no idea. He says so is me, that, is that a Bone Thugs and Harmony, and Biggie Smalls, Notorious Thugs. That's yeah. my favorite song of all time. Yeah, I like a lot of music from that period. Um, I'll say what the '90s. Let me ask you and interrupt you again. How do, how 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 can Seth know every single song? Right. So that's what I was going to say. Back to when you were saying about he watches all. Of, he he just he watches um, all of these crazy things that we might not all watch. Or he who does really well on trivia. I mean, he does know a lot about those things. Yeah. And I I most of his waking hours are spent. On, Being a sponge. On yeah yeah. I mean, his dad used to watch a lot of movies, and I think, you know, Seth will say something from a movie. He he has that where yeah. he retains yeah. those lines, yeah. and it's he knows when to throw it out, and it's funny. Yeah. You know, it's very funny. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly that one. <laughs> he said something last night, and I was going to remember it for today. I can't remember what it did was. Did you know that Iz yeah. has a book of quotes? I did. Oh, that came out on Thanksgiving, and there was something in there that Seth was upset about that she showed her mother or maybe her aunt yeah. explained to her mother and her mother thought it was fine but you know yeah it's do you know which one it was the I guitar do. yes did he tell you i'm sorry ah, keep hitting that did he tell you what it was yeah yeah it was the guitar yeah we're not gonna don't, don't even i'm not i don't I'm not, even I, would not, I wouldn't i wouldn't oh we, we already talked about it on the optic podcast yeah i mean so <clears> i think <throat> oh really did it get into detail oh yeah oh Oof. Yeah, so I was gonna say he has a filter and knows when to stop. I mean, you know, I, yeah. I need, that book needs to come out. Yeah. And I told him that maybe we can release a picture like that one over there where he's like <laughs> sitting there stoic and 
powerful. All these little balloons coming out yeah, with those, all these those, quotes. Those, 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 yeah, and then a quote <laughs> that says, I pull my shaft this way. I'm kidding. That's where I'll start. Uh, Kristen, thank you so okay. much for joining me. Thank uh, you. Hopefully this won't be the last time. And hopefully we won't wait another two years for you to hop back on. Uh, all of your social media is going to be listed in the description up below. Huge yeah, yeah. shout out to Draft. You don't have to do that. Huh? You, you don't have to share my social media. I mean, my goodness, you know. <laughs> no, I don't. That's what we do with every guest. Okay. Okay. So make sure to follow her. Okay. Uh, ask her questions. If, you're, if your mom is having a hard time. Actually, you know what? Don't bother. Because there's going to be so many <laughs> people. I was like, yeah, oh, mom. Here's, people know. People used mom. to do that. People did that a lot. Yeah. I don't really get that as much anymore because I think there's it's so much more. Uh, there's so much more information out there yeah. about esports than yeah. there was, you know, five six years ago, and parents really didn't explain. Yeah. People are still surprised when I try to explain it. Like I didn't know that was a thing. Like Seth winning the Warzone thing. Yeah. Uh, the tournament last weekend. I mean, how crazy was that? Nice. And, and me telling people that you know that happened the next day. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that that was a thing until. I yeah. knew you, so yeah. um, I think that's gotten a lot better. But oh, okay. but yeah, if people want to know, I can I can answer it. it. Just might not be an immediate response. Okay, and yeah. all the information down below. Okay, ask, ask her anything. Okay. Don't ask her stuff about Seth or other quotes from Seth, please. It's, it's be respectful. Uh, so huge shout out to DraftKings and HelloFresh for sponsoring the podcast again, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.